Oh, April 13th. Okay, that's cool. Right now it's 11 a.m. on January 8th. Hmm, there really doesn't seem to be any news to speak of today. By the way, did anyone tune into that documentary that was on TV yesterday? It was about the history of badminton. It's actually quite informative. And then that talking about badminton puts me right to sleep. Oh dear, there we go again, prattling on about my TV habits. Sorry, folks. With that, we'll get back to your enjoyment of the island. Beyond a helix. Alright, let's real quick go take care of like fossils and the like. It should take us a few minutes. Oh, what is it, Zucker? Oh, what? I feel like I feel like that's like like the fifth fitness tank I've gotten from one of my villagers. <coughs> um, you know we can do fruit today. There's nothing stopping us. Just time. Isn't that the only thing ever stopping us? Time. grab some water. Yeah, I should have grabbed some water before we started. snowed in a few days. I, I don't think it snowed since the new year. That kind of sucks. At least I don't think it has. I could be wrong about that. It's already the, what, the 8th? Gosh, that... That came fast. No, yeah, I know. That came real fast. Oh, there's our money tree. Um, there are those four fruit trees that we're not going to worry about right now. Because, oh, what a pain in the ass those are going to be without the, um, 
part two with with the turnips in the way. So we're probably gonna go hit up turnips first. And then we'll take care of that. Um, we're missing one. Oh, did I not? One each tree? We're missing one. Which, did, didn't I see something? Oh, I'm just thinking of this. Yeah. Oh, we have the- we'll deal with those later as well. Another blue rose. More oranges, but no reds. What a shame. We don't even know. You need to go up to the campsite. That's everything we need there. Let's go talk to Blathers, get these checked out. that afterwards. This is my fossils. Let's go sell all this stuff right now, put all our money away, and then we'll start selling turnips at whatever price they are. Prices are three. Okay, so they're not that big. Three fourteen is not a crazy price, but it's not a bad price. Definitely at least a hundred more than what I would have gotten if I have just if I had just sold them normally. Definitely more than the first time I ever got a large spike, which was like two, like fifteen or something like that. It was bare. It was like bare minimum large spike. All right, let's just drop everything. Normally I would just sell the fitness tank in these shoes. Or, no, no, well, normally I wouldn't, but I was considering it, but I, I decided not to. Oh, and I realized two days ago was Carmen's birthday, and we completely missed Carmen's birthday. I realized that. That, like, we were, because we were talking about politics, 
and we just completely glanced over Carmen's birthday. Yep. All right, let's get to selling turnips. I think we got two million to sell. That's a lot to gain. So let's get creative. Nope, didn't want that. Dump money on the lawn, I guess. Um, yeah, sure, that works. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I want to sell. that one lily in there and ah, it doesn't it'll skew the numbers by like a hundred because flowers sell for even rare flowers like the blue roses sell for nothing that's a million already that's that's a million out of like 20k Maybe a little less than that. Oops. I don't know. We'll see what this all amounts to, but it's going to be a lot. What is it, Cherry? Oh, fine, fine, as long as you're not moving away. turnips so much to sell I mean I guess technically we're buying more there we're, we're taking back more than like a, f a few um, than the whatever I normally take back because normally I have the million and then I buy whatever I can and then I buy a little more the next time but still the fact that in two rides We've already made our money back is more than enough.
And yep, we've already made all our money back. And it's not even that high of a spike. It's nor, nor I mean, if we were fluctuating, we'd be lucky to get 150 like we did last week. And if it was a small spike, we'd be lucky to get around like two. We'd be lucky to get around like 200. Oh, look how close we are to the nice number. 400 away. But yeah, no, no, this is pretty good, all things considered. Because, yeah, we're getting about a hundred more than normal. I don't, I know, I know in a previous one, we calculated our biggest profit yet. And I want to say it was around like 40k. So I don't think we're going to break that. Because yeah, that one week, one week we bought like 7 million turnips. But we only made, but because of how the pricing worked, we only ended up like profiting like a million or something. Or maybe it was 2 million. Whereas the week we bought a million turnips and we made back like 4 million was a much greater achievement. But from here on out, anything we make on turnips is profit. So while I don't think we're gonna beat to um, four million, we're gonna get damn close. It was something, cause it was a price of, cause we bought like a million and it was like a price of like 540. That's good every, the f we spent about a hundred, so yeah, that was everything after a hundred was profit, and we haven't had a week like that since. I mean, we have, it's just on most of them, we didn't buy turnips, and on the weeks we went all out into turnips, we got nothing, right? Like our prices faltered, or there was that one, we or there's those weeks that we got. <laughs> There's those weeks we got nothing. Right? That one week we sold at a loss. That... But King of the Mountain's coming sooner or later, and it's not going to be pretty. So, you know, honestly, if we had... Hi, how are you? I noticed you had a cherry. She was one of the first villagers on New Horizons. Nice. And yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. Um, I'm tired. I, w I woke up early to sell turnips, so I'm just tired. I say I woke up early. I woke up at what? Like... 11... But I'm still on winter break right now, so waking up any time before, like, noon is kind of eesh, right? Until winter break is over, and then it's back to uni. Oh, God, I, I gotta submit a thing. For, I gotta submit a paper for uni, or an application, on oh, in just a few days. Eesh. Yep, there we go. There's another million. Oops. Okay, 15. I'm 
we're still missing the golden armor DIY. Ah! Yeah. There's, I'm still missing the basic sign DIY. No matter where I look, I, that's the one... For some reason, out of all of them... Well, I mean, I know there's a few other. I'm still honestly surprised whenever I find a new DIY that I don't have. Like, I feel like we've been... I mean, like, I know there's the obvious ones, but I feel like I've been doing this for so long. I just got some signs in the past few weeks. Yeah, because there's that one sign that, like, tells you, like, oh, that you can, like, customize to be, like, oh, this is the shop, this is the museum that's the town hall and then there's a sign you can place diy recipes on and yeah that's the one i'm missing and yeah i'm just i'm just surprised i haven't got it yet you should probably move these over Alright, this should be our last batch. I feel like we're really close. Right now, we've already made 3 million in profit. So we're already doing pretty good. I don't think what remains here is enough to break another million. But... Yeah, we've already made three million in profit. Not our mo most profitable week, presumably, but it's still this was still a great week. Three million in profit plus another right plus whatever we have right on us right now. Yeah, no, this was one of our better turnips weeks. Oh yeah, we honestly I don't think we'll get a million, but we're gonna get close. This will probably be eighty something. Oh, nine fifty. Okay. Let's see how much we got. I know it's a fair bet. I was going to say, I think 4 million is our max capacity. Alright, let me get out a calculator. You know that thing that we were never supposed to have on us at all times? Yeah, yeah. 4041080. Yep, we'll deposit it all. Oh, nice, 42. The, the answer to life, the universe, and everything else.
1881. I don't think that's going to break of silver 6. But it's close. Plus one eight eight one zero zero zero. So that's five million nine hundred and twenty two thousand and eighty dollar and eighty bells, I mean. That's so that's about three million nine hundred and ninety two dollars in profit, give or take. So tech, I don't think with three nine two two, I think our biggest profit was four million or was yeah about four million. I don't know. I could not. T I could not tell you for the life of me when that happened. I just know it. Ha that happened within the first like hundred days, or something like that. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's that one. And we haven't gotten close to matching that profit yet. Because it was a good profit. Yeah, we, we haven't gotten close to getting that high of a number again. But, or, but, because, like, even that week we put 7 million in. It just, it wasn't enough to, because even with, like, a, I think it was, we either got fluctuating or we got, like, a small spike. But because of how everything played out, we didn't double our money. We didn't even... I think it was fluctuating that week. So we barely made our money back and then some. We made like, I want to say 20 bucks per turn up. Which ended up amounting to about another million. But yeah. Whereas this week, whereas the week we put, got the 400 million, we only put a million in. This week we put 2 million in, but our prices were less. Like, so, instead of our, that, that week we put a million in, our prices were like four, or I mean 540. This time they were only like 314. But that was still enough to get us close, having put more money in. Honestly, if the, when the, when the week we do King of the Mountain, I would kill for a four, a four, a 300 price. Oh, I would be blessed to get that high of a price. Yeah, I, I'd take a small spike that week. I'd, t I'd take this, like, even a low, large spike. Oh, I'd take it in a heartbeat. Because at least that would be better than losing money. Especially with... We're probably going to put... I don't know. I'd, I've never actually run the math about how much we're going to put into turnups. I always assume it's going to be like 20 million, but I don't know. And then who knows? I mean, technically, the 2 million we put in today only took like 20 minutes to sell. And we're not going to, and when we sell, when we get the King of the Mountain, we're not going to other people's islands. It just takes too fucking long. We're selling on our island, come hell or high water. Come hell or high water. I don't think we'll have enough storage space to do Fruit Island, so we'll probably have to go clear it out first. I mean, we might, honestly, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to head up to the campsite. Hey, right, let's water some flowers while we're here. We got another blue rose, which is nice. Oops, wrong one. There we go. And let's get 
with this one as well. Um, who's here? Today's a Friday. So, statistically, somebody should be here. But I haven't seen anyone. So, that means... And, cra and Jolly Red's not here. So, that means most likely it's Gulliver. Just like, statistically speaking, it's Gulliver. Because I didn't see What's-His-Face, I didn't see Chip. I mean, we had CJ yesterday, and I didn't, I doubt it'll be... I mean, it totally could be What's-His-Face, but I kind of doubt it. Statistically, it's probably Gulliver. Yep, and there he is. Because we had Gullivar earlier in the week. Oh, and there's our bottle. I was looking for that. No, oh, we still gotta make a snowman today. Let's see what the bottle is first. Alright, ah, we'll just sell it. It's funny this will this will be this will sell better than all the fruit we sold at the beginning if only because those pumpkins sell for a stupid amount of money. I hate how much pumpkins sell for sometimes. Maybe it's just because we have a lot of them that I that I notice how well they sell. I don't know if, if I gave a shit about money anymore, which I kind of don't. I don't know. I just spent the past like 20 minutes talking about how much about all the different monies. But at the end of the day, I don't really give that much of a shit anymore because we've been doing this for so long. Did these trees get taller again? Every once in a while, I, I feel like we come to Fruit Island and the trees get a little bit taller. Maybe it's just the angle I look at them at. I don't know. Maybe it's like an optical illusion. But yeah, you know, it's funny how I always say I don't care about money. And yeah, we spent the past 20 minutes. I don't know. It's just because once you pay off your house debt, which is only like 4 million total, money has a lot less of a purpose after that. I mean, yes, technically we did take out another house debt at some point to upgrade our storage. But I don't... Technically, it wasn't even really that much of a house debt. It was, what, like half a million, I think. And that was it. I don't know, it just got you, and I know there's still, like, bridges and whatnot I can build, and s technically, I mean, we only need, because of how I redid the island, we only needed two slopes, but, like, still. Yeah, and, because, yeah, the, once they introduced pumpkins, 
fruit island just in far less space we could do so much more than we make so much more money than fruit island I have not played any videos games. No. Been watching South Park still. And I was thinking about playing the games, but it's like, oh, the games are probably... I mean, the first one should be cheap as hell, but the second one... Ah, uh, probably. I mean, it's three years old now. Four, technically, later this year. But yeah, it probably won't be that much cheaper. I know they're both on Switch. I don't know how they run on Switch. I don't know, they're, they seem like very basic games, so they should be able to run on Switch, but... Yeah, I don't know, I kind of want to play the South Park game... Games... Specifically the first one, because... I don't know, I heard a lot of people talk about the first one, and it seemed like a good time. Like, I've, I've seen several people compare it to Paper Mario, and while, yes, I know I have Bug Fables, which is a very, very accurate Paper Mario right recreation i don't know i've heard good things about the south part the first one anyways because nobody talked about the second one i feel like nobody talked about the second south park game well besides for the one thing where um difficulty was based on race right the darker your skin color the harder the game was or something like that i don't know i remember that being a thing and it's like oh that's very fucking f that's both funny and clever at the same time but other and that was but that that was revealed before the game launched so other than that i've heard very little about the the south the second south park game i don't know people just weren't maybe it's because i was in different circles in the years between the first and second game's release yeah, I just felt like nobody was talking about it. And I don't know. I don't th and I know they they did they did a mobile game at some point that no that presumably nobody gave a shit about. I don't know. There was al there's always the whales, but um I'd be down for a fourth one or a third a third South Park game. Specifically with them doing nin like ninjas, right? Kind of like based on that the what the one where they get weapons, not the one where they where people mistake them for ISIS. Yes, those are two South Park episodes. Yeah, I think one of them as ninjas would be pretty cool. Cause I know the uh, phone the mobile game was all about uh, cowboys versus Indians. I know that's what that one was. At least I'm pretty sure what the mobile game was. I don't know. It's a fucking mobile game. Actually, there was a South... There was, so, there was, like, a South Park mobile game that was based on, like... I That was, like, oh, I survived the Japanese game show or something like that. That I remember playing on, like, iOS way back in the day. And it was like a platformer thing that had you like roller skating around these like crazy levels. And I don't I don't even know if it was like honestly I've never seen any evidence of this game existing. But I remember playing it. So it like must have existed, right? Yeah, it was like the South it had nothing to do with like South Park. I don't even remember it being funny. But it was like this weird like platformer and there were in these weird like levels. Yeah, no, but I, I don't know. I don't even remember it existing. I remember having fun with it. That was so long ago. But yeah, it was like I survived a Japanese game show or 
I don't know, it was based on like Takeshi's challenge and stuff like that. Wait, what? So Twitch a few days ago took down the Pog Champ emote. I I don't know. I you know, honestly with everything going on, that's been one of the things I've been paying less attention to. <clears throat> but I guess what they're doing at the moment is um So according this is a this is the them from an hour ago. You know what? In the spirit of figuring it out together in 2021 to get or the spirit of figuring out 2021 together. Let's roll with it for now. Get ready for a new Pog Champ every 24 hours starting today. So they're doing different Pog Champ. Wait, can I open emotes real quick? And we're gonna go make a snowman. Is there? Yeah, it's. I have no idea who it is. But yeah, it's it's something, all right. Huh, that's interesting. I honestly, the idea of a different one every day isn't a bad idea. I'll say that, especially like giving like d different like prominent members of the community a chance to like do their own pog champs. That's not a bad idea. Huh, interesting. Rather interesting. Oh yeah, and then there's politics in general, which they still the the house has not been called into session yet. Pelosi's waiting for the vice president. Pence has said he's not going to invoke the 25th, and Pelosi has not called the house into session, and says that she wants Pence to invoke the 25th. So clearly, neither of them are acting yet. Both of them are waiting for the other to act. And I feel like that's the wrong approach. Pelosi needs to call the House into session, start the impeachment trials, and maybe that'll get Mike kick Mike, Mike Pence's ass under gear. That he'll just right that he'll invoke the twenty fifth before Trump gets removed from office again. But yeah, both of them are. Pelosi just needs. I mean, she should have called the House into session yesterday. She didn't. She needs to call the house into session today. No matter what, that needs to happen today. It should have already happened by now. Pelosi needs to stop. Do it. Do it. Uh, there's tons of people who are just like, call the house into session. We'll vote on it immediately. And, but they refuse to do it. Tr Trump did concede. I mean, technically, at no point in his speech last night did he say the word concede. Because his, his, like, every, the like, the first, like, minute of that speech was complete bullshit and like almost everything he said was false but because he was happy people were rioting in his name right these terrorists were acting in his name trump was happy to see it so yeah of course he like the first half of that speech where he like detests them is like bullshit but yeah even still he, he still needs... He can't keep getting away with this. He needs to be put on trial. He needs to learn that his actions have consequences. You know, the whole shebang. Yeah, and then it's gonna happen again on the 20... I mean, on the inauguration... Which Pence says he's going to, because as I joked yesterday, yeah, Pence is going to the inauguration. He's going to be the president at the time. 
Trump Trump came out today and said he will not be going to the inauguration. That's how fucking petty he is, because of course, if he were to go, he'd throw a fucking temper tantrum. All right, all right. Let's get let's make some ice stuff, shall we? Let's get some I'm totally stealing this from somebody I saw on Twitter. I don't remember who. I mean, I might I might be able to look it up and find out who. But I should say that right now that I'm just totally stealing this from somebody I saw on Twitter. Cuz you know, it's a pretty good idea all things considered. I don't know how much of that each of those will need. Oh, these are little... Oh, we need to get more normal snowflakes, I guess. We might have to get more normal snowflakes. Ah, we can go around and catch some. I have way more large snowflakes than I first thought. Alright, what do we need to craft? Let's go into seasonal items. I need one of these. I need one of these. Oh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna definitely need more snowflakes. So I guess we'll go catch some snowflakes. Um, I'm gonna need, do I need, yeah, I need two of these. Let's go see how many more snowflakes we need. So I need one. Okay, I need two, because I'm going to make one of these. Two. Seven, 17, eight, eight, what, 18 now? 18 with that. Um, Do we want to make... I could make another one of these, or I could just steal one of the other ones we already have. Do I want to make more of these ice bears? Not particularly. Um, and then I was going to go Christmas ornaments. Where the where all the Christmas stuff was. Which is... I s oh, maybe it's just because where we're looking. Oh, I need I blue ornaments and iron nuggets. Okay. We need two of these. And maybe we should also see what makes two ice chairs. Because I don't think the other chair I want, I don't have any of. Or if I do have them, I have one of. I mean, I do have the diner counter chair. I'd want something more like that, but it'd be a different color. But I only have one of them, so yeah, that's probably not going to work. So I'll probably go ice chair, which what do I need to make an ice chair? Honestly, I probably should have just... Maybe, maybe we'll work on this tomorrow, and maybe we should just do Gulliver today. Yeah, maybe we'll work on this. How much do we need for an ice chair? We need six. So that's... 24? We need 24 snowflakes? Yeah, let's actually... Let's put this all... I mean, we'll keep the frozen stuff on us for now. But we'll work on this tomorrow. Well, let's go deal with Gulliver today. And yeah, we'll do this. I know I wanted to do this today, and that was the plan. But I clearly just don't have... It's We're missing some basic snowflakes. So we can finish this up tomorrow. I have no problem finishing this up tomorrow. I mean, we sold turnips today, so that's good enough for me. Maybe I'll actually f f figure out who made this, because I know I'm stealing this from... Whatever design I'm making, I'm stealing from somebody because it's a design I thought was really cool. 
I mean, I could make another ice bear statue as well. I, yeah. Yeah, snow, getting snowflakes are such a pain in the ass, though. Hey, Gulliver. Yes, yes, we know how you work. Oh, they're gonna- oh, the Democrats could bring the Articles of Impeachment to the House floor as soon as next week. No, they need to be dealt with- I know- I know it's bureaucracy. And bureaucracy is like ten layer- right? Ten layers upon ten layers of just bullshit. I'll look for him. Right, that's- have I told the story before about, like, the right with Trump and government? So, right, Trump was always like, oh, I can get shit done because, uh, because I'm, like, businessman and I'm not government. Of course, he got, during his presidency, he got fucking nothing done because he's Trump, right? Because government works differently and... But yeah, rather famously, back in the day, right, New York was trying to fix up, like, Rockefeller Center or, the, like, an ice skating ring of some sort. And the, the government couldn't get shit done because of bureaucracy. Trump came in and got it done in, like, a few months. And that was one of Trump's, like, right, he helped out New York City. And that's kind of where Trump and politics kind of start. Because he did, because all things considered, he did a good job with that. Right, but it shows the difference between government and bureaucracy, right, with the bureaucracy of government and how biz big business works. But even still, it clear he was still a fu he, it's still it's very different things. And Trump had no idea how to lead a nation, and it cl the fact that we're still in quarantine uh, a year later clearly shows that. Yeah, no. Ha the ha Pelosi should should have just called the House into session immediately, and they should have gotten this impeachment thing fucking going. Not waiting until I mean, yes, next week is what three days or two days away, because technically next week is Sunday. But still, God, this side of the beach. I cannot believe how much better this side of the beach is. I have spent like ten minutes previously. Walking around the beach looking for computer chips on the other side. We've done it in almost like two. Okay, probably a little more than two, but still. This side of the beach, even though it's smaller and I've got... Maybe it's a palm... Maybe palm trees increase, right? Like, right? You know how, like, you can put that device to the ground and it, like, shakes the ground and brings worms up? Maybe that's how palm trees are with, like, manila clams. But even still, this side of the beach is, like, a thousand times better than the other side. It's crazy. And, of course, now that I'm saying all that, I'm not finding anything. But my point is still completely valid. The other side of the beach just sucks. I saw the balloon. We're going to go grab it here in a second. I put the slingshot in the water and can in the wrong order, didn't I? Yeah. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh, there's something. 
And there's our last computer chip. Hey, Gulliver, here's your shit. We might as well just make this one clam bait. I mean, we have one clam, we might as well. Not like we'll ever need it. Because as previously stated, we're kind of done fit. I mean, there, oh shit. Is there a fishing tournament tomorrow? Oh, fuck me. So I guess whatever this ice thing will finish up on Saturday. Because there's a fishing tournament tomorrow. Shit. I would have completely forgot about the fish. I was going to I was gonna say, oh, tomorrow we'll do a KK Slider music thing. Right? No, tomorrow we will do fishing tournament. Oh, fuck. I mean, it's not going to be much of a fishing tournament, but... Yeah. So I guess we'll finish this tomorrow. Ooh, iceberg wall. I'll take that. And then there were two. I don't remember which two were missing, but I know we're missing two. We'll do all this ice stuff to, um, on Sunday, I guess. Because we're probably not going to... I mean, we might buy turnips, but we're probably not going to. Oh, I was going to go... Let's go check the computer real quick before we end off. I cannot believe... Wow, we still had a bunch of time left to sell turnips. Wow. Um... Yeah. I was worried, like, selling all our turnips. Maybe it's just because I've done it so many times where I've gone to other islands. And that's taken forever. That today we had more than enough time to do everything. Oh, I don't think we have that one. I'm glad we came and checked. I was also going to change the color of the house back to, like, a normal-ish color, back to the pink roof and everything. And we just never got around to it. I mean, we could... Ah, we'll do it another time. I know it doesn't take long. I just took them back up in this... I think the wall I think the watering can is supposed to be on the end. That looks right anyways. Yeah, well, I know we're one person away from doing the next thing, but ah uh, whatever. It's not it's because Miranda refuses to leave, it's not like we're using them anytime soon. Yeah, um, I guess that's where we're ending off. I, it was, I mean, we sold, we technically, I know I was, I said yesterday I was going to do the iceberg lounge thing today, and then the turnips kind of happened today, and so I didn't want to, right, and then we clearly need, I, for some reason, I remember having a lot more snowflakes 
than what we have. Maybe maybe I'm just, I was just looking at the large snowflakes and getting them the two mixed up, but even still. Oh gosh. That Gengar bed. Like there's a Gengar bed where it's like a giant Gengar tongue and you stick your head in its mouth. That's weird as hell. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to end off for today. Um, tomorrow... Well, yeah, I guess we're doing fishing turn. I, as you know, I don't give a shit about the fishing tournaments. I, th I think they're terrible in this game. Like, at least the weight thing was, like, something. Because that's kind of how re I've seen, like, real fishing tournaments do stuff like that. But the the just catches me. In th it's, it's mainly the three-minute thing. If the timer was longer, I'd be willing to give it more of an excuse. But it's not. It's three minutes. And that's just not enough time. With bugs, that works. That time's fine. But with fishing, that's just not enough time to get a lot of stuff done. And I won't be able to have friends over like I've tried on previous days. Because I don't have Nintendo Switch Online at the moment. Oh shit, I gotta go play uh, Sm Smash Bros. Is, um... I gotta go get the new spirits, because I gotta keep my spirits. I can't get all the Smash Bros. Online achievements anymore, I just realized that. But I also gotta go in, um, in the Breath of the Wild spirit event started today in Smash Bros. And now that I have every spirit, I gotta make sure to keep track of every spirit. Right? Because I've messed up before. Oh, I should go do that now. Uh, well, I'll go do it here in a little bit. But yeah, that's where I'm ending off for today. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time. Peace.